Google Bard can now see and talk. What do I mean? They just announced some major updates to their AI that is making it significantly more powerful and easier to use. Let's go ahead and see some of those updates and then later we'll test it out ourselves to see how different it is. So starting off with the first update, BART is available in new places and languages. Stating right here, now it is available in over 40 new languages and some of these include Arabic, Chinese, German, Hindi, Spanish, and more. And also including all 27 countries in European Union and Brazil now have access to this. Now, I don't remember 100% how many countries Google Bard was before, but I definitely know that it was available to the States, but it looks like now the EU and Brazil, massive, massive countries are going to be able to use it now and test it out for themselves. And they even mentioned how the English, Japanese, and Korean support have managed to help them launch languages responsibly, and now they can support the majority of languages covered on the internet. So for people who are from the States, you might not realize that English isn't essentially spoken all over the world. So at least having an AI that is essentially global and other people can access it, that's going to be revolutionary. Next up, Google Lens and Bard. This is what I meant by Google can see. Now, is it looking at you? Hopefully it's not, but based off of what I've seen, it can actually read and see images that you uploaded and apparently it can actually identify it, what's inside the image, which we will test it out ourselves. And another thing, Google Bard can talk. Take a look, they can read responses out loud. They said they're adding text-to-speech capabilities to Bard in over 40 languages. That includes Hindi, Spanish, and US English. Now. To my knowledge, I am not familiar with any AI style chat response software that can reply with an audio. Obviously, you could probably copy and paste the response into some sort of AI audio speech generator and have them read out to you. But having it inside of the application, don't have to leave it, that's going to be definitely game changer. And there's a ton of different use cases I can see that people can use this for. In addition, these are just some UI UX experiences they've added such as pinning and recent threads. So essentially, when you create a new chat, you can actually have one pinned. So if you have a particular thing, it's kind of like an Instagram post where you wanna pin some of your favorite posts or simple like a tweet. And they also have the ability to share your bar conversations with others. In addition, you can actually modify your responses and they have a new export from Python code to replits. So, these are just some of the updates. Now let's go ahead and test these out. So here we are on Google Bard. Now they do have this stating that human reviewers may process your Bard conversations. So essentially don't enter any sensitive information. Ideally just ask it general stuff that you can Google search, but don't give away any sort of details that could reveal something regarding you. Now let's go ahead and exit off this and let's just go ahead and start off with the basic thing. And let's just say, I don't know. Tell me something interesting that happened in the AI space today. And again, with AI, Google Bard, from what I remember, is fairly recent. And this is stating look, Anthropic Claw 2, which I did make a video about just a few days ago. Definitely want to check that out. Here's some new stuff Mithril Security Demos, LLM Supply Chain Poisoning. And apparently, let's see, a new attack. Okay, this is interesting. And they also introduce team dedicated stopping rogue AI. Okay, so this is interesting as well. So this essentially just talks about safety measures. Now, why didn't I even look this up? Why did I even type this in? Well, first thing is, let's go ahead and see some things. So I can go here and edit the text, which is cool. I can change this to whatever I want to. That's a cool thing right there. So let's just say uh, a size space last week. Let's go ahead and press update and see how that works. Now that is actually something I do like this little edit feature because usually on ChatGPT, for example, I have to go in, retype it again, restart the chat. And I, obviously it's not really that difficult to do, but this is stuff that's pretty cool because I don't have to sit here and change every word and I can just see some information here. So now let's just try one of the updates, which was pinning. So let's go ahead and click on these three dots here and let's hit pin 
and let's just call this AI and use and let's see if this works and take a look at that looks like it is pinned right here AI news so now if I were to start new chats and to say what's today's dates now we can see that once I do have all these new chats we have the one that is pinned right there and if I were to replace this then basically it will just replace that or at least actually add on to it okay so that's nice you can pin multiple ones so we can go here we can unpin this too we don't need that right here now let's go back to this AI news now take a look at this this is another update you have this response right here. Now, this is something I actually do enjoy. Click on this modify option right here. Now we can do shorter, longer, simpler, more casual, and more professional. So for some things, I ask for a summary, and it has this ginormous essay that I just don't want. So here, like this, let's try shorter. And I don't know the exact length of this, but let's just try it out. Look at this, okay, much shorter. That's nice. Let's try simpler. Because a lot of things sometimes they make it overcomplicated. And look at this. This is just this is perfect right here. This is amazing. You can see this right here. Got 1.3 bill. Robot can learn new skills. Amazon's using robots and Tesla's building AI supercomputer. That's dope right there. And we also have more casual. Let's take a look at what casual looks like. And we can add it to uh, let's see here. Yeah, so this looks like a more casual response and more professional. And that is just another little touch that these other ai companies definitely would have to implement something towards their chat ai response program or else the competition is not going to do too well now that is the cool updates right there now let's try the ability to see okay so let's go ahead and i'm gonna upload an image so you just click here upload file and then upload the image so here i went ahead and upload this image and i created this from mid journey and let's go ahead and say Describe what is this image. And I essentially typed in some sort of futuristic sports luxury truck. And this kind of looks like the Tesla semi truck design, not gonna lie. And as I'm speaking, explaining it, it literally almost as if it heard what I said. Wow, that is actually kind of scary. And it literally says here futuristic truck and it has Tesla Semi. So I did not even know that was gonna happen. That happened right when you saw me do that. So guess what? Google Lens can definitely see. Can it hear me? Maybe, 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 maybe not, hopefully not, because that was kind of scary how close that was to exactly what I was saying before. And let's take a look at this. This is the listen option. Now, this is the first time I am using this. So let's just see how it sounds. The image you sent me shows a futuristic truck with neon lights driving down a highway at night. The truck is sleek and aerodynamic, with a long, sloping hood and a large windshield. The headlights are bright and future. Okay, that is enough, and that is quite impressive. I'm not gonna lie. Was not expecting that voice. I thought it sounded a little different compared to the Google Translate voice you probably are used to hearing, or maybe like a Siri. But listen to that. One is for people who might have a hard time seeing. This can obviously make their life so much easier to just listen to responses. And two is this can automate a lot of things. So example, you have a full essay response to something. You don't want to sit here and read it. You might be cooking. You might be brushing your teeth. You might be doing anything that requires you to be away from your device. Boom. Hit the listen. Listen to it. And next thing you know, it's like almost listen to a podcast, especially depending on the response. Now for this particular thing, I can just read this. I don't have to listen to that. But that is crazy to see how it can easily identify this. Now, maybe we got lucky. Maybe it just knows this image. Let's try it one more time. So here, image number two, let us see. This is essentially the same thing except i'm not gonna say a word i just want to make sure i want to see if google bar can do this because i kind of said stuff out loud and i don't know if it's actually there but look image you sent me is a concept car called the mercedes-benz vision avtr now this is interesting because going back here it's essentially i didn't read exactly every word but it looks like it's trying to confirm what the actual thing is without realizing that it's AI generated. So just looking at these highlights again, it is saying it's most likely a Tesla Semi. 
even though technically it's an AI generated truck that looks like a Tesla Semi. And then here, this is saying this is a Mercedes Benz, which I haven't even seen this car. So let me actually go ahead and Google this myself. And this is AI generated as well. So it looks like the AI must have took that as inspiration. And essentially, Google recognizes the layouts. And let's go ahead and let me try this. Just Google it. Yeah, let's just do that. And let's try this. I'll just click here and then I'll just have to change it. Let's try this right here. Mercedes Benz. And it looks, I've seen this image before and yeah, it definitely does not look exactly like this, but this is that car that has like the cool crazy wheels. Now, in terms of its accuracy, I think this might make it a little difficult because these are AI generated images and essentially these don't exist in the real world yet. So if I were to use something that's more realistic, like an actual picture of some sort of car or a picture of a dog, a cat, whatever it is, then maybe it'll be, you know, at least confirmed accurate. But based off of the lens right now, it seems that it's giving its best try to connect it with whatever is currently in whatever database they're using. And it's connecting it with that and just telling you what it thinks it is. But either way, it still knows that it's a car here and this is a truck. So the fact that it can see that image, that is pretty impressive. And then also I can go ahead and listen to that. Now, this is some of the new updates on Google Bard that ChatGPT and even Cloud2, there's some things that they can't even do that Google Bard can do. And again, Google Bard is free to use. So what do you think about this? Share your thoughts in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe to see the latest updates in the AI space.